and watches the safety demo. lavender ice latte and this is what I'm going to be eating ahorita, rapidito before we start boarding I acabo de llegar to the employee parking lot I feel like I look a little oily but hi guys and welcome to another vlog we are starting a three day trip today I am flying up to Seattle and then I lay over in Los Angeles. I'm supposed to have coffee with another flight attendant friend that lives there. So I'm excited to see her and catch up. This is our winter scarf. Isn't it so cute? It has like little snowflakes. Snowflakes, little airplanes. I am working deep position this entire month. So that has been pretty interesting. My preferred work position is working A, which is first class. This is my gusta cambiarlo because even though I enjoy first class, I feel like sometimes it can be very demanding. And sometimes the people you get up there se creen bien fancy, aunque majority of the time they're free upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> this whole entire month I am working the D position which is the floater position which means you are on your own and you attach to different crews each flight so it's not bad most of the trips for the D position are actually very productive which I enjoy I love very productive trips I love trips that are worth more so I can work less so it's like give and take with the deep position because you are meeting so many different crews throughout the day since you're attaching to all these crews it can be a little overstimulating in terms of you always have to be like on friendly so whenever you meet the crew you're always like hi da -na 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 -na, I'm Guadalupe. Do -do 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 -do. and sometimes it can just be mentally exhausting and just dealing with so many different personalities through throughout the day not only passengers but now your crew members um and when you stick with the same crew you know how everybody works you know their personality and so you can adjust accordingly like si alguien es bien platicón si alguien no le gusta platicar you kind of get the vibe and you kind of go with the flow but yeah enough talking <laughs> Let me gather up my stuff and I'll see you guys at the airport. I came early, so I'm going to stop at Wakaba and get myself some udon noodles. Tofu udon noodles. That's my little go-to dish there. But yeah, I'll see you guys there. I'm currently in Portland, of de llegar, and I'm charging my phone right now because it is 1 in the morning, we landed at 11.30, and I have about what I thought was a 13 hour layover, and for the past 
couple years, ever since COVID started, our layover hotel here in Portland has been right by the airport because I guess since the pandemic started, the downtown area got pretty bad. So we haven't been staying downtown. So I'm the D and the entire crew was going home except for the pilots. So since the pilots were laying over, I just kind of followed them because we all lay over in the same hotel. And it turns out I uh, had me laying over at the downtown location, which I didn't even know we laid over downtown. So of course I took the shuttle with them and I was at the wrong hotel, had a call crew scheduling. They didn't want to, well, they, they said that they tried to get me to switch my hotels, pero que no había espacio, even though the lady at the front desk told me that there was room. Anyways, I ended up waiting 25 minutes for my Uber. Y apenas llegué. So now my layover is pretty much shorter than the pilots who were staying at that hotel, which is closer to the airport. <laughs> what a hot mess. Pero acabo de llegar. The hotel's actually beautiful. Let me give you guys a little room tour. So, aquí entras, and right away you have a beautiful robe and closet you have your vanity and it's not connected to the bathroom which is nice and i just saw that they have the dry bar blow dryer so here's the whole entire little vanity for you to get ready el baño which is just your basic standard bathroom and they have a whole another little closet and this has the coffee station and a fridge full body mirror <laughs> and then tu camita what is this maybe to cover in case someone sees in the bathroom and that they turn on the light that's cute uh full bedroom and then they do have the sound machine in case you have trouble sleeping. You can turn this on. The one good thing about this hotel, look at the robe. <laughs> yes, we're 30 minutes late to our flight because no nos recogieron on time. So we are running to the gate right now. You guys. <laughs> May they had on the pilots left without me at the hotel. Am I just having van and shuttle and hotel trauma? But I'm gonna on in a hotel. I got down at 5:50. Went on five minutes early. My pickup was at 5:55, and I was even thinking the girl at the front desk because they hit my Victoria's Secret pajamas the last time I was there and she was able to grab them for me and I was even gonna grab coffee because I was still early and <laughs> nope the shuttle had left five minutes early apparently they counted me and said I was on the shuttle when clearly I was not anyways got an Uber y ahorita ya llegué and I got random <laughs> which means I have to go through regular TSA and get revisada well i'm already late and the flight's going to be delayed hi <laughs> joy joy to the world there is my bolsa that's my gauge oh my god the tsa lady <laughs> 
the TSA lady was so nice because she was like, everybody move out of the way. She's got a flight. She's got a flight. today <laughs> this whole trip <laughs> this whole trip has been crazy 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 i had so much drama with the shuttles and the hotels it's currently 1 20 in the morning and i fly out again tonight back to jfk and I don't know, I'm a little like traumatized. <laughs> a little traumatized from these from being the D this trip and being left behind and being in the wrong hotels and all of this little drama. ¿Qué más pasó? Oh, and then on the flight we had like so many people are coughing. A lady asked me if I could tell someone to put a mask on, but you guys we are not enforcing the masks anymore. There was a time in the beginning of the pandemic where it was required to wear a mask on board the plane. That has since lifted. It's now a while that people can go mask free. And so I was like, yo, yo no le voy a decir nada a la señora. I can't really tell anybody to put a mask on. Please, if you are traveling, first of all, don't travel if you're sick. But if you must, wear a mask. Wear a mask out of the courtesy and respect of others. Si estás enfermo, like, why are you gonna want to get everybody else around you sick? And so, yeah, that's my little spiel on that. I'm back out tomorrow, so I'll we'll see you guys tomorrow to continue this lovely trip. Have me pre-boarding a flight in between my sit. So, aquí ando. This is a flight going to Anchorage and they are missing two flight attendants. So, I'm filling in for them, checking their equipment, checking and making sure catering is here. And once the crew gets here, I will get off the plane and continue on my merry way. <sighs> Flying back home today. Oh, and it's ugly sweater day today. So, one of my um, crew members actually brought us these antlers. She brought them for the whole crew. <laughs> They're so cute. And this is my little top I'm wearing. No sé si pueden ver. It says, Meet me under the mistletoe. <laughs> Buenos dias, it is officially Christmas Eve. It is go home day. I am flying home from New York. You guys, I am so happy that ahorita <laughs> my flight is going out on time. Flights have been canceling all over. I think the Portland airport shut down yesterday because they were having a snowstorm. Seattle also ended up canceling a lot of flights. My sister is actually flying out or was supposed to fly out last night from Upper State New York. I think that's what it's called. So not New York, New York, not the airports here like JFK, LaGuardia, or Newark. She was flying from a little bit more up north and their whole entire airport shut down. Everything got grounded. So <laughs> my sister actually won't be coming home until Christmas day because I think she said flights and everything just was shut down. They were, I think they were going to resume on Christmas Day. The crew I flew in with last night, también, their flight, which was two hours prior to my flight right now, got canceled. So literally it's just a snowball effect because if the pilots are coming from one of those airports where they are grounded, obviously the flight going back home is missing the pilots. It's just... Like I said, a snowball of effects, but 
Todo on my end is going good so far and I'll take you guys with me. We are flying home on Christmas Eve. Feliz Navidad everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful time. But yeah, I'm running a little late so I'll catch you guys on the flight. It's freaking freezing and it's so windy. I'm hoping like everything still goes according. You can see the ice on the on the van. Oh my god, it's freezing. The door was frozen. Oh my god. I just met a crew downstairs and they were also waiting because their flight was canceled. Pobrecitos, they were asking me if my flight was still going and I was like, yeah. And like I was like, clearly we had a little hat and everything. But their flight was canceled and then our crew scheduling system is completely backed up because of all the cancellations. A lot of our crews are stranded and don't have hotels. I felt so bad, but I was like, sorry, I have to go my way this year. Oh.